how how we need to make math class be like asking kids how how have you seen math be used to uphold oppression how have you seen math be used to break down oppression and then how can we turn math to a more collectivist endeavor instead of intellect uh, individual endeavor and it's like this is what they're teaching in schools at this point so there's a the, their belief is that objectivity objectivity like actual knowledge is not possible and that every culture has its own access to it and those cultures like we talked about conflict theory are in conflict with one another so science is something that was cooked up by white western men and it doesn't let other ways of knowing they call it in specifically so that white western men can ta- can keep the power of getting to define what's scientifically true and what's not Jesus Christ no shit how do you argue against that it's so crazy that it's it's like there's no room for logic or reason well you, you I mean it's worse than that because logic and reason become part of the the, the problem the white man's tools the master's tools they call it Oh, the master. Did you hear that uh, in Texas, uh, there's uh, at least one real estate group that's no longer using the term master bedroom? I was going to bring that one up earlier when we were talking about how, uh, you know, words have a trace. Yes. And I was like, that's a key example because the trace is bullshit. Do you know where the phrase master bedroom started? No. 1926 Sears catalog. Oh. Slavery ended in 1863. 1926 Sears catalog. It was never used with anything to do with slavery. It's just that people imagine that it might have something to do with slavery because you can't touch the word math or master. I'm sorry. Right. What about master locks? Oh, it'll da, da, it'll da. come to it. It'll come to it. Have to change. All of the tech stuff is they've got like master slave switches or whatever they call yes. them and and systems. All that. I mean, I'm keep getting emails from corporation motherboards. People. Oh yeah, all yeah. that stuff. All that stuff. It's all got to get changed. Oh. They're, yeah, you can't have master and slave, you assholes. And here's why. Because they actually believe that if they change, that, that they believe that language creates oppression. That's when I said tearing down discursive monuments. That's actually what the guy was talking about. So if you change the language, like magic spells, then oppression will go away too. If we have no politically incorrect language, oppression can't possibly happen. That's literally some Orwell stuff, right? The yes. point of 1984 was like they made... Uh, new speak so that people wouldn't be able to have thoughts? It, yes. I mean, how brilliant.